Chess friends, how are you? Today is a wonderful day and I will show you the FIDE candidates chess tournament game of Ding Liren and Ian Nepomniachtchi, and this is your today's puzzle, 90 IQ chess puzzle, solve it and comment me, so let's go, Ding started with c4 English opening and he can go with d4, Bishop Fumetto on this kingside, Knight c3 Knight f3 is natural move, e5 g6 by Ding, he wants his bishop on this diagonal so Ian Nepo blocks it with c6, it blocks the bishop's diagonal, so Ding Liren played knight f3, e4. Knight goes to d4 and Ian Nepo strikes the center with d5, c takes pawn, taking the pawn with c pawn isn't good, let me show you why, if you take it then d3 will come to break your center, so after pawn captures queen takes d3, the d5 pawn will be unguarded isolated pawn, he can be a permanent target for white easily, so, back to the position, we have queen takes d5 and keeping the pawn structure as it is, also, it's threatening to take the knight with queen. Ding returns his knight on c2 knight f6 knight c3 queen e5 bishop g2 and Nepo brings his knight on a6, it's completely fine, any other knight move would create some problems, castle bishop e7 knight e3, Ding Liren's goal is to play a3 to protect the square and queen c2 to target the pawn with 1 2 3 pieces, so after castle, a3 rook e8 and b4, that move is clearly says that Ding wants his bishop on that square to have control over the diagonal. Nepo finds a solution to reduce white's incoming pressure knight g4 bishop b2, here you cannot take the knight, let me show you why, if you do it then after pawn takes the f-file will be open for white, the pawn will be one and only target for white, because it will open up the light square diagonal, if the diagonal gets open, black will face serious troubles, also the another bishop is ready to bombard you, so, back to the position, we have queen h5 which is threatening to mate in one, ding pushed it to h4. Here best move is to play f5, let me show you the variation, then queen b3 check may come by white king h8 rook c8 knight c7 b5 bishop e6 queen e2 and that's it, push the pawn to stable the position and pieces, game could play like this but in our actual game, Nepo played bishop f6 to see his duplicate, but best was to play f5, so queen c2, this targets to the pawn with three pieces that's why Ian takes the knight, d takes e3 bishop to f5 knight a4 to match up the bishops, takes and knight takes b2. White have a crazy idea with the knight, to target both of the pieces and bring the rook on d1 to support the knight on d6, so Ian played knight c7 knight c4, White threats to go to the knight d6 square so rook e6 rook d1 knight d5 and we have rook to d4, you know what, what is the best move for black? To break the structure and attack to the king black can strike the king side with g5, let me show you the variation, g5 to break your pawn unity, if you take it light hearted and give black a permission, do whatever you want. Then he will bring out white position, sizing the h file so king f2, queen g5, threatening to play rook g6 to attack the king by capturing the pawn, so knight e5, rook f6 rook f1 and black will play discover check with the bishop, king backs then queen takes check king d1 knight takes check king here, takes, and the position will be dead lost for you, there will be no hope for you because you will lose your king's safety and materials, so, back to the position, but Ian didn't found g5. He played h6 with the idea of g5 but this h6 pawn blocks the rook's entry line to use the h file, queen d2 rook e8 king h2, g5 is the best move here, play d5 and destroy Ding Liren, Ian say, what is g5? I will play bishop g4 with the idea to get a pawn, I am satisfied with little things, so go and take away the knight, you cannot take the pawn on e2, if you do then knight takes b7 will come, rook f6 king g1 then black will consider g5, queen b2, threatening the rook with a discover queen and rook attack, if you play rook g6 then white will simply win a pawn with bishop, so if you play rook e6 to add supporter to the pawn then knight c5 will come rook e7 knight takes pawn, and the position will be turned out into white's favor, black's pieces position and coordination will be bad, so, back to the position, Ian played rook f6 king to g1, finally he finds g5, here best move is to play b5, it's a very tactical 3000 lo move, let me show you the variation, after b5, takes, takes, 
h takes g3 looks like white's king is unsafe but after queen e5 knight c4 queen takes pawn queen e1, white can give black one pawn to complete queen exchanges, queen is gone that means end game starts. That means your king is safe, but in our actual game, Ding Liren didn't found b5 because he was not a subscriber of me that time, if you want to be smart in chess then you can like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more episodes, we knight takes b7 instead of b5, that was a blunder move, the knight needed on c4 square to have control over these center squares but the knight is out of the game, so after g takes h4, if you take it with g pawn then bishop h3 bishop takes takes queen takes h4. Threatening to play this so queen e1, queen takes bishop queen f1 rook check and that's it, you will lose the game from your hand, so back to the position we have knight c5 h3, bishop can't be go to the f1 square because of h2 check, king hides on there, then rook takes f2 will come with a threat of bishop, takes e2, queen h2 queen g2 check and mate, so ding played rook takes e4 but it's already too late, the rook is hanging, the bishop is hanging, Ian played best move h takes g2 with the idea of checkmate. So after rook takes rook, king here and you cannot take the pawn on g2, let me show you why, if you do it then rook takes f2 will come, sacrificing the rook, king takes queen h2 check king to e1 then queen g1 will be a checkmate, game will be over so back to the position, we have f4 foe create some space. Queen h1 check king here queen takes rook, king takes bishop h3 check and Ding Liren here resigned the game, because after king takes bishop queen h1 check here h5 check king g5 queen h3 queen d3 queen d4 check which is called mate. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.